Alright guys, welcome back to you, Into the Breach, and uh, I, I don't know, I was messing around with Zenith Guard trying to get some achievements and I didn't, so, I don't know, I'll do it a bit more next time because I'm going to have to. So we still have uh, that guy, um, so let's uh, figure out who to put him into. I think it's going to go into the ice mech because this, this is not one I think I'm going to use every single time, so, especially since he has the option to freeze himself, which makes it actually excellent for like because of the fact you can't repair um so that sounds pretty good but remember i'm still doing this like this is like my first time with these guys and how long has this game been out like a month that's life um holy shit that requires a lot of power all right well i'm i'm gonna say i would say health but now nah, we're gonna do move yeah exactly see he's confused as well so yeah this doesn't get any upgrades interesting uh, the the Jesus cannon gets uh, a lot of damage, actually. Wait, what? Increases damage by one, but in the cutscene it shows two damage. See, I'm I'm gonna guess that's a that's a mistake, but whatever. Uh, gain shield when bashing. Oh, that's really good, actually. You can flip its direction of attack. All right, so that's this is uh, pretty good. I wonder, I, I wonder if it like if it just flips it the other way. That's gonna be something interesting to see. I feel like I should start on the cold island, but you know, you know, just, just for theme thematic purposes, we can do that. I like thematic purposes. Uh, all right, so we got ice storm. Guess we'll do the freeze and defend both robots because we actually have a lot of options for this. These guys are all about that freezing. So this guy attacks from two different directions, which might be interesting. Alright. Alright, this is, uh... Weird. But it's gonna freeze myself. Okay, like, how the hell do I work this out? Well, I'm gonna do two damage to this thing anyways. All right, <laughs> that's just so weird. All right, I guess I'm just gonna sit on that then. I mean, I, I probably should shoot it so it gets freed. Uh, all right, how much damage? Actually, you know what? I have an idea. All right, so you can go, I don't really care where you go. Maybe to freeze. Alright, and what we're going to do is we're going to do this. So that guy at least gets freed. And then... Oh, and then he gets to just do whatever he wants. Huh. Uh, well, I don't really want him to do anything, I think, at the moment. Wait, I can freeze buildings, too. So I can, I can do something like this, can't I? Like, just, just randomly shoot a projectile here. He's, he's hovering on it, and it's just... He just doesn't take damage, though. Alright, that's actually clutch as fuck. I didn't realize that. Well, I mean, dude, it's like my first time doing this and I realized it, so never mind. Alright. The only problem I can see with this is that a lot of this is, is like, I'm not killing anything. Which may be a flaw. Alright, what happens if I do this? Okay, so he literally does just, just swaps directions. That's uh, pretty interesting. All right. Is there minimum range for this? Yes, there is. All right, who goes first? He goes first. And I guess that's all we do. Actually, no, he's gonna... Oh, shit. Nah, you can get out of the way. Oh, uh... You know, just, just attack him. Oh, wait, I didn't freeze the robot. Oh, shit. Alright, you know, I reset the turn. Fuck. Uh, that mistakes may have been made there. Why is this game so difficult? So, it, that one doesn't actually move him around, which is interesting. 
All right. There we go. So I like I like I actually like the mantis being in that one because it actually gives them some damage opportunities. So that's kind of nice. All right. Uh, I guess we're gonna continue here. Okay, this one we have to kill at least seven enemies. So this is a bit different. All right. How nice of them to do this. All right. Uh, if I hit that tile, that won't really do much. I can kill this one pretty easily. So that one's not an issue. I just would like to get... Actually, we can do something like this. There you go. And all this guy has to do is we just swap his direction. Remember, we're trying to kill them right now, so... I'm uh, very fortunate that I put the, got the mantis for that one. Oh dear. No. The cyan. And the cyan's fucking locked up. Alright. We could probably just kill that guy. Uh, Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go here. Actually, I don't know if I wanna go there. Because, okay. If I go like this. Oh, that works actually. And he even goes on top of that, which is extremely nice. As I said, it was the best idea ever to, to work it out like this. Alright. Well, we really only have to deal with that guy. I mean, you could set that guy free too. I mean, that's going to freeze that guy, so we don't exactly want that. And that guy now only has one HP. We could set him free. Maybe we'll do that. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, never mind, we're not setting him free. Alright, all we really have to do is kill one anyways. It's gonna break the ice. Oh, or not. Um. Alright, whatever. It worked out somehow. As of the Mantis was actually, I think, one of the, the, the best things I could have ever added to that guy. I'm so glad we, we kept him along. Defend both robots, alright. Uh, and this one flies anyways. I mean, you're supposed to do some funky things, I understand that, with that setup, so... Alright. So we can go here and we can punch that guy out. Um... Now... Actually, I'm gonna be inclined to do this. Alright, so I, I have an option to freeze him. We can also swap this guy's direction. We're gonna have to. So he's gonna die next turn, so we're fine with that. Uh, the only problem I kind of have is... Actually, you know what? Right there. Dude, this shit's so clutch, actually. With this with this guy, because that's what, that's, I think that's what you're supposed to do. You're just supposed to set yourself up to get attack next turn. Like, either block a, a shot or something else. Unfortunately, there's gonna be a lot more coming in. Uh, let's see here. Now, we could just end him. Yeah, there you go. I mean, we could just kind of hang out on some of these tiles. I mean, I I'm kind of good with them doing whatever they want here. So, I can also freeze buildings, right? Yeah, there you go. How was I get there, everybody? I yeah, do that. I, actually, I could have froze him too. That would be pretty good. See, but a lot of this is is not about killing people, though. That's a that's a, that's maybe one thing about this that's kind of interesting. All right, how much damage does he do? One. I mean. Um, fuck, I don't know. 
Guess we're just gonna swap them in the other direction. Alright, once again, I'm... actually, I could just freeze this guy too. I mean, but the thing is, we're not getting any experience for this when I keep doing this. That's like the major flaw I can see with us. Because you, you get it only experience for killing stuff, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, they lost. Alright, well. Nothing else to do here. Uh, I guess... Do we get experience for this? No. It's only kills. I mean, I, I usually see experience pop-ups. Like, if you see this guy, he's got like 16. Which, you know, is something. But yeah. Still kind of amusing. Alright, we got ourselves a pod. Alright. Huh. What the hell? Uh, defend factories. I don't get a lot of options here. I primarily get to, uh... Well, I guess I could just kill this thing, because it's an artillery bot, but it's not my friend. I mean, the simplest thing to do would be to... Punch this guy. Alright. Because for some reason the bots never help me out. I'm not sure why, but they hate me. What can I say? Alright, so I can't just punch this guy in the other direction, but I can do a bunch of other stuff. Um, I mean, because I could just knock this guy into there and he's dead next turn. Oh, well, we don't want to do that. I think it's a simple matter of trading these guys' positions. Where is this guy aiming for? Oh, my tile. Okay, maybe, maybe that's not what we want then. Because we want to be able to hit this guy. Huh. This is a weird one. Because I can only melee attack things, right? Alright, here's here's what I might do. Or no, I may not do that. There's like, dude, there's like nothing for me to do here. Because I'll just block tiles. Actually, I can freeze these things so they don't make anything anymore. I guess we might as well just punch those things. Freezing the factories is actually not a bad idea. Because, look at those jerks. Alright, so this one's simple. We just kind of knock these guys around. And... I mean, this would have been nice to, like, knock him into that, but, you know, I don't really need to do that. Okay, how far can you go? Not very far. What you can... Swap your position so you hit that guy. Uh, I guess I got really nothing else here, do I? Just keep freezing some of the buildings here. Blocking the spawns is probably the best option I have. Freeze is pretty clutch, though, I have to say. Alright. Looks like they have him surrounded, at least from this side. Well, I mean, this guy's pretty easy to deal with. <laughs> I just have to... These guys do three damage, so I actually have to deal with them. I mean, this guy's simple to deal with. Just fucking punch him in. Alright, and the last one's just one damage. Those guys aren't that bad. They're, they're freezing pyros, what can I say? Definitely up my alley. Do they have any passes I, I, I don't think about? Alright, so we gotta... 
Stab multiple tiles and push the furthest tile. All right, and a reactor. Yeah. Well, it's not gonna be powered though. We only have one power point. Uh, you apply uh, acid to the furthest enemy. Oh, okay. I guess I should do the shield while bashing then. It's the only thing I can think of. It's very useful. Alright, well, let's do this one. That was a little bit awkward, it just kind of waited for me. Alright, so. Destroy the bot leader. What? Have I done this before? Launch three rockets at three tiles. If damage, this unit will shield itself and prepare to heal. Huh. How does this count as Vec? I've, I've never actually fought this thing. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put all my guys in the line in hopes that we bait him to attack all three of them. Okay, no. I did not con that did not work out like I intended it to. Alright, so this isn't a simple matter here. Well, somewhat it is. Alright. Uh, what's the order? Okay, he goes beforehand. So here's what I'm thinking. We push him into there. We swap this guy's position. Uh, the last one I can't really do much. I guess the best thing we can do is freeze like the corporate building and stuff like that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna freeze myself if I do that. Actually, you know what? He's like almost dead. It says he prepares to heal himself. Yeah, so he made a shield. All right, so there's two these two jerks. I I would like to just take this guy out though, but I I don't. Does he heal himself to full is the question. I think I have to take him out in one turn. Uh, or heal him in one turn. But the problem now becomes these guys. Like, how do we prevent the corporate building from going down? And the best solution actually might be to put this guy in the way. If I could do that, but he, I don't think he has enough movement. He only has three movements, so no. I can freeze. I can freeze one of them. That's rather unfortunate, because uh, I think he's just going to heal to full, to be honest. Uh, but I don't think I have an option, because I don't want to. I don't want to lose this corporate building. Oh no, it's the ice one that I want. Oh, actually, I can do this sort of. Except I, I can't. I can't freeze this in the same turn because it's too close. If I if I could, I would do that, but I can't. All right. Because this seems like a really nice idea right here. All right, here's what we're gonna try and do. We're gonna try and punch this guy, and I'm gonna see if I can stop his shield. Maybe that does something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Because he shields himself, so you need to hit him twice. Fuck, he really did just heal up fully. Well, I was a little bit concerned about that, I won't lie. I maybe should have tried to freeze him. That may have blocked it, though. Uh, Alright, how do I get him to not kill everything that I love and hold and cherish dearly? Uh... I really wish I could push him down here so that bo both these guys could hit him, because, yeah. I, I was concerned about that, too. I hadn't faced him before, so I wasn't sure. Alright, here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to punch that guy out of the way. We've got to do something like that. And he's, of course he's going to prepare to heal himself. What a fucking dick, honestly. Alright. Hmm.
All right, I have a I have a plan. Pretty good plan. Uh, it will kill him in one hit, though. So that's nice. With these two actions. Actually, you know what I could do? I could just freeze randomly, because I don't think there's anything I can do in my turn anyways. We use this guy right here. One goes in the water. There you go. So that kind of worked out a little bit better than I would have expected. <laughs> I had to use my thinking brain there. Alright, three grid defense. Alright, uh, I can move through enemy units and punching. Yeah. I'm gonna take this, the pilot. And where to put him? Who would benefit the most from moving through units? I think this guy, honestly, because he's Malay. Positioning him is, is actually really nice. Alright, well. Goodbye, sir. Grappling hook. Oh, dear God. Oh, man. I've dealt with that so much. That powerful projectile that pushes and damages his target. That's the same thing I have on the other guy. Punch the left and move it over you. Alright, you know what we might do? We might take the grapple, actually. Because it does give me an option with this guy that he currently doesn't have. So, as much as I hate to admit it. Uh, so we're going to put that on. Alright, so we have the grappling hook on him. Um, guess we can do the, either the spear or the spear, so I don't think we have much of an option here. Because I have three points here to, to put on anything. Actually, you know, Janus Cannon can get one. And two points, power the prime spear. That's, a, that's also a pretty good one. The shield is good and the, the spear is good too. I, I like them both, honestly. And he, he's very maneuverable too, so. Anyways, that's it for now. Uh, so we did the, the themed island here, so. Anyways, uh, take care everyone, goodbye.